What's going on, everyone, and welcome back to Ripples. Let's keep going with the story. If you haven't already, definitely hit that subscribe button and hit that thumbs up. So, really quick before we actually continue, uh, when Ripples is over, since we are in the final episode of the game, when this is over, um, Chasing Sunsets will take its spot. Uh, so it'll be five days a week for that particular game. And there's a reason for that. I do not want to start a new series right now. Not yet. I have something coming up for the month of December. And right now, as recording this, is beginning of October. So I have two months to finish both playthroughs. And what I have planned for December is going to take all five days of the week and probably go into January as well. <laughs> we'll see um, how many videos that one's gonna take, but I do have something planned for that. So stay tuned for that in the future. It will probably be announced in November, maybe, we'll see. Uh, so definitely hit that subscribe if you wanna know what it is and for that December extravaganza that I have planned. Anyways, let's continue. We're still going to train, right? I got jeans on. I didn't plan on training today. If what you say is true, then training is more important than ever. You have to be ready. Just because you got lucky with Edward... <clears throat> his name is Eric? I don't give a fuck what his name is. Just because you got lucky with Eric doesn't mean you'll have the same luck next time. So quit being a little bitch boy and fight me. You didn't even bring the training gloves, did you? Who cares? I won't hit you that hard. Darcy, we can skip one day. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. I know what you're doing. You're trying to piss me off, so I'll fight you. Just when I thought you were making progress and training with me every day, you gotta wuss out and blame your genes. Pathetic. No wonder Jared got the best of you last time. He would have beat your butt if that ninja didn't show up. Maybe I should go ask Jared to train with me. And maybe he could pin me down and take his prize. Like a real man. <laughs> Fuck you, Darcy. That's it. Wow. Oh, boy. Now, is it actually like real time? Or is it... Uh... Oh, interesting music. Now, I do have the music on. Um, I'm going to copyright it for probably a lot of different things. But that's okay. I'll deal with it. Come on. You're not beating me today. Did you finally grow a pair? Why are you ask me like you don't know? You're the one kissing my nuts last week. But if you don't remember, that's fine. I'm gonna teabag you after I win. Wow. Nah, I'm gonna win and give you a... Flappuccino. A what? Don't worry, you'll find out soon. This girl has got some things. No crazy crouching tire karate stance this time? No. Because your opponent will most likely have a normal boxing-like stance like this. So it's best if you train against it. I could strike first and try to catch her off guard. Darcy is pretty aggressive when we spar. The best bet is to wait for her attack and then counterattack. The only problem is dodging that attack. I need to be careful because her kicks fucking hurt. Okay, so she's aggressive. So block, dodge, duck, or punch. Okay, so from what he just said, I feel like I want to duck here then. Every time we've ever dealt with her, she's always punched. Let's do that. Wow, she missed. Now it's time to counter. You remember what Darcy told you about countering a high kick? Sweeping the opposite leg is an easy way to send your opponent to the ground. But either Darcy is too quick or you're too slow and she jumps over your leg. Looks like you're finally learning. But you're still too slow. She's right. My counter should have been instant after her kick. I'm letting my anger get the best of me. I'm not thinking straight. She knows what she's doing. She's pissing me off on purpose. I'll never beat her if I'm angry. I need my concentration at 100%. Are you gonna let a little girl beat your ass? Do you think you can save Jenny 
or your dad. Ooh, man, don't push those buttons. <laughs> that fun like that, you won't. She's trying to aggravate me again. I won't let her get to me. I think she's about to strike again. She might be too fast to counter. I need to try something different. Okay. So judging by that, he's definitely giving hints. So dodging again is basically a way to try something different. But at the same time, she's generally aggressive and will attack first. So maybe we should dodge instead. A dodge her kick. Time to counter. You quickly counter her kick with a straight punch, but Darcy is just too quick. She leans back with ease and arrogance like she's barely trying. Ooh, not bad, but not good enough. Is that it? Is that all you got? Okay. Block, dodge, duck, or fake punch. Hmm. Let's see. We already did the duck and the block. Uh, dodge. Block or uh, let's try something different. So block or fake punch. So far, we've just done countering, and that hasn't landed. She's too quick. Uh. Let's try. Try the fake. You cock your hand back like you're gonna swing, but quickly change to a sweeping leg. We can kick. Sadly, you're no match for Darky Darcy's reaction time. Hehe, <laughs> nice. Looks like you're improving. That's not gonna work on me. Hey. What? Why do pirates always win boxing matches? Why? Because they have a killer hook. <laughs> you know, that's not bad. So funny. Meanwhile, just found out cockfighting is done with chickens. Wonder if training down the drain. <laughs> wow, this game, man. Nice. No, that's disappointing. Nah, no, none at all. I'd love to see the fruits of that training. You'll have to see my training after I win this match. I'm gonna slap you so hard. Uh huh. I'm so sure you'll win. Do you train with Brad? No, I train with your grandma. Beat it like I owned it. Ew. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to watch what I say, you know, age restriction and all that stuff. I'm gonna tell her you said that. No, you won't. Yeah, I will. I know she's not afraid to tell her. I think it would be hilarious, actually. Jackie would probably think it's another crazy thing she, that she made up and would think that she's a degenerate. If you want to tell your grandma that your friend beats her, then go ahead, tell her. You know, I remember when I had my first boxing match. I remember it just like it was yesterday. It reminded me of the time I lost my stuff. It was bloody and sore, but at least my dad finished. <laughs> wow, that's awkward. Um, what? Your dad? Ow, kick in the head. Hey, what the fuck was that cheap shot? <laughs> Lesson learned, I hope. Never let your guard down, Jack. Piece of crap. Don't let the anger control you. Shut up. Okay, grab and block, dodge, duck, kick. Okay. Let's see. We basically have a one in three chance. Block and grab. We know what happens there. She has shown us how she gets out of grabs. That's a terrible idea. So we dodge, duck, or kick. Hmm. So far, we haven't done anything aggressive. We've been very passive other than our fake. So maybe we should try to go for a kick and probably end up poorly for us. But I have a feeling this may be a situation where we can't win. Let's go for a kick. Strike with the straight kick, but Darcy's too quick. She leans back on the same thing. Too slow. Kick in the head again. Shit. Not a bad kick. That's not gonna work on me. Tell me what you're doing wrong. I don't know. You talked about this. You're going against my advice. Should you be trying to throw hands at someone faster than you? Someone's a better striker. Well, no. 
you need to use your strengths to your advantage. In your case, you're stronger than me. In my case, I'm faster and a better striker. So what do you need to do? Try to grab you, grab you and wrestle you to the ground? I also put her in a submission hold, which is probably what I'll try once I get a hold of her. Yeah, that's one of the options that would best fit the scenario. Well, what are you waiting for? Give it your best shot. Evading the enemy is one of my strong points. Great. She's expecting me to grab her and wrestle her to the ground, but I know this is no easy task. Darcy is quick and jumps around like a freaking monkey. I'm gonna wait until she attacks again, and the moment she does, I'm gonna grab her. As soon as I do that, I need to pounce on her. No hesitation. Even if I miss, I need to follow through and go after her. Wait for any sign that she's going to attack. Darcy has changed her tempo and is also waiting. After feeling each other out for a good 20 seconds, Darcy finally moves. But Darcy doesn't commit to her attack, and it's only a feint to goad you into attacking. Which you do, but your plan to grab her fails and she backflips away. You told yourself you're going after her no matter the outcome, and that's what you do, no hesitation. Darcy sees you coming and starts to run away. A foot race is the only thing she can't beat me in. I have longer legs, and I'm faster. If I catch up to her, I should be able to tackle her and pin her down. Oh, she's gonna jump over the tree? Yep. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> Saw that coming. Darcy runs up the tree and back flips on over top of you. As she passes overhead, you can see that she's looking straight at you, grinning from ear to ear. What the fuck? And she bonks you in the head as she floats away from you. <laughs> You're just showing off now. I'm not showing off if it works. Yes, it is. I have an idea. I'm going to use Darcy's own venom against her. I'm going to say mean shit like she does to me and piss her off. Get her tilted so she can't make a so she'll make a mistake. Come on, Darcy. Why are you running away? Are you scared? I wonder if I get a hold of you. Can't face me head on. Can't face your feelings head on. You have to pretend it's all for practice because you don't have the balls to do it yourself. Are afraid to take what's yours? I bet Shelby wouldn't need to pretend. Maybe I should ask her to practice with me. I could practice putting those big things in my. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's the wrong button to push. Fuck you! Arrgh! You attempt to piss Darcy off words. Your words cut deep and she charges at you. A flying Superman punch barely misses your head and you grab her as she's passed by. You then wrap her up in your version of a bear hug and pin her against the tree. Ha! <laughs> got you now. Or do I got you? Squeeze your thighs all you want. It doesn't phase me. What were you saying about me running away? Being too afraid? I charge straight at you. Yeah, it is a stupid thing to do. Look where you're at now. I'm not letting you go until you tap. I can squeeze around your neck until you pass out. You can't knee me in the nuts this time. You can't elbow me in the face. You could headbutt me, but that's gonna hurt you just as much. You could try to punch me, but you only get a good swing. So you may as well tap and give up. I can still do this. Ah! This does hurt, but it's nothing I can't endure. It's more annoying than anything. Get fush took, bitch! <laughs> Okay, this is great. After what felt like two hours, but it was only 10 seconds, she finally takes her claw out of your mouth. <laughs> Did you like that? Is that all you got? You'll need to do better than that if you want me to let go. Just tap so I won't have to choke you out. This is your last chance. Oof. I told you it's not going to hurt. Punch me all you want. If I punch you enough times, it's going to hurt. Then maybe I should start squeezing your neck. Do it, coward. It doesn't hurt, Darcy. Keep punching all you want. I bet your grandma could punch harder. Look at you, acting all tough. You get me in one hold and you think you're hot shit. I can get out of this if I want to. Then do it. Haha, <laughs> no. I could stay like this all day. I don't get this W. There's nothing you can do about it. It's time I finally want a match. Oh boy. Oh man. <laughs> oh! Without warning, Darcy pulls your head back and aggressively starts making out with you. 
She forcefully pushes her tongue in your mouth, and once you realize what she's doing, you happily invite it inside. <laughs> wow, she did something sexual without the pretext of practicing. Unless this is her way of getting out of the submission hold. Which it probably is, let's be real. But she's not stopping. I'm not stopping. If this is a ploy, I need to stop her. I can't let her win. At least, not now. I need to get the upper hand. But I don't want to stop. Damn it! <laughs> Just a little longer. No, no. I need to stop it now. Ah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that's just mean. Oh, that's just rude. Um, <clears throat> well, things got a little out of hand and um, stuff happened. Uh, you'll have to do that for yourself to see. So, um, you call that a draw, right? No, no, no. I won both battles. You knew you were beaten. That's why you stuck your t <clears throat> and you let me. If this is a real fight, I couldn't have gotten away the second you started groping me. I could have grabbed the tree branch and jammed it in your eye. Yeah, this wasn't a real fight, but it was a battle. An epic battle between two foes to see which one can rise to the top and... Ahem, <clears throat> victory. If that was supposed to be a pun, it was terrible. Anyways, the people have spoken, and I won the battle fair and square. I wouldn't say fair, but I'll give you this one. Next time won't be so easy. Uh-huh. Look at that face. <laughs> what? Oh, Darcy. Head pat. Cheek. Oh, no. She likes the, uh, she likes the head pats. <laughs> Little head pat. You're so cute when you get angry. Shut up. Don't stay stupid. Don't say stupid shit like that. There we go. I can see a little smile appearing. That's what I want to see. I don't know what you're talking about. You're right. It must have been my imagination. The words coming out of her mouth are poison. But the slight smile on the corner of her mouth feels like an antidote. <laughs> Such a strange relationship. So, what's the plan? About? About you showing me the inside of the power plant. Ugh. Alright. I'll show you the inside of the power plant, but we're only spending a couple minutes inside. I don't like it there. And we'll be doing this because if I say no, you're going to go there anyways. <laughs> yeah, I will. Exactly. I'd rather you go with me so I can show you where to go. And when are we going? We'll go in a couple of days. Let's meet soon to discuss our plan of action. What plan of action? What do we need to plan? Ugh. Because if it's as dangerous as you say it is, we need to, to plan our route, equipment, time of execution, create a plan B, C, and D in case things go wrong. Do you know nothing about going on missions? Missions? We're not top secret agents going to steal government secrets or something. The story about stealing the all-important envelope is not far off. That sounds rather top secret agent to me. All I'm saying is we need to be prepared in case something goes wrong. That's it. Okay, okay, I agree. We should be prepared. I'll call you later to prepare and devise a plan. So, what are you doing today? We need to go to Alyssa's and finish our project. And then we need to stop at Brad's house. You guys are slow. Crystal and I finished two days ago. Quality takes time. Are you saying we did a bad job? Not at all. I'm only talking about Alyssa and me. You better be. I should go to her house now. I'll give you a call tonight. Sounds good. Later, homie. Later, Darcy. Hold on. Yeah. Great training session today. Your skills are improving exponentially. I look forward to our next session. Thanks. I think you're also finally learning. Learning what? So learning what? Bye, Darcy. Hey, don't leave me hanging. <laughs> she, maybe she'll catch it. Knock, knock. Oh. She's usually not here when I come over. What's with the serious face? Hello, Alice. 
What are you doing? This is in the living room. Actually, hold on. Alyssa? She didn't say hi or anything. Something must be wrong. I wonder if it has anything to do with what we talked about last week. I wonder if I should try to talk to her. Man, yeah, let's see what's going on. <clears throat> She's in her room. You know where it's at. Alyssa starts to walk past you when you stop her. Alice? What? Is everything okay? You don't seem like yourself. You want someone to talk to? I'm always here to listen. Mind your own business, Jack. Ouch. Cold. Alice walks past you and exits the door you came in. Jeez, never seen her like that. She's always nice and cheerful towards me. Well, I tried. Maybe she needs time to herself. That's Ice Queen right there. Holy Christ. Come in. Oh, wow. Look at her. God damn. Hey, Jack. Holy Alyssa. What is happening? She even did her hair different. Oh, wow. Look at you. Me, <laughs> stop. So, um, what do you think? She hasn't changed drastically, but the little things she has done make quite the overall difference. She's finally put her hair down, and even if it's only a ponytail, you can tell that time was taken to style it. Clothes are casual, with a slight, sh slight touch of sexiness. Her belly button is showing, there's a little cleavage on her shirt. It also looks like she's wearing makeup, but only a little bit, just enough to emphasize her natural beauty. Wow. She looks freaking beautiful. Love it. You look beautiful, Alyssa. Really? Thanks. Certain that someone convinced me to change it up a little bit, and I thought I would try it out. Hmm. I wonder who convinced her. Alice? Maybe her mom? Well, you can tell them they did an excellent job. I hope you continue with the new look. I love your hair down. It's a waste when you put it up and hide it. And to tell you the truth, I wouldn't mind seeing it out of a ponytail and all the way down. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. For now, just one step at a time. Are you ready to finally finish our project? Yes. I'm so glad we're almost done. I thought we were going to finish it yesterday. We probably could have if we didn't watch anime. But it's important to take breaks and not overwork ourselves. And partner bonding is also important. <laughs> partner bonding. I like that. <clears throat> Do you want to finish our sources page? And I'll finish the conclusion. You read my mind. Let's do it. 40 minutes later. And that's the last one. We are done. Yay! Oh, um, sorry. I got a little too excited. No, don't apologize. Don't hold back. Celebrate! Woo! Yeah, baby! <laughs> okay, here you go. Project is done. Now we can have fun. No more project. No more project. <laughs> I love her little dance. There's a lot more animation so far in this uh, chapter. Um, does she know I can make out her nipples through her shirt? I'm surprised she didn't wear a bra, but hey, I'm not going to complain. She's come out of her shell a lot since we started this project. I'm glad she feels comfortable around me. I mean, look how happy she is. Feels nice, man. That's adorable joke or say nothing. Uh, no. That's adorable. Don't make fun of her. She has such a fragile ego right now. That's the most adorable thing I've ever seen. Why do you have to keep saying stuff like that? If he's just turning red again, isn't it? Maybe. <laughs> She's so adorable. So, all done with the project now. Yep. No, that means Jack won't come over anymore. You don't look like someone who's excited to be finished. Well, let me guess. You're happy to be finished with the project. But now you're upset we won't be hanging out after school anymore. <laughs> yeah, how'd you know? Because I was thinking the same thing. After you say that, Alyssa looks like you and perks up a little bit. Maybe I can ask her to come to my house and hang out. Oh yeah, absolutely. She is such a sweetheart. Hey, don't worry, we can still hang out after school. How about you come over to my house sometime? We can watch anime, play video games, listen to music, or whatever you want to do. Your house? Yeah, I uh, I think I could do that. Yeah, sounds fun. Great, I can't wait. 
I have to work tomorrow, so maybe the day after? Yeah, that works. I don't think I have anything happening that day. What's the matter? It's gonna be weird going to a boy's house. I've never done that before. Nah, there's nothing weird about that. Same thing over here, but we're just hanging out there instead. I guess. I'm excited to see your room. Spoiler, my room is boring. Yours is much cooler. I think the only noticeable difference is that I have a desktop PC. Ooh, I want to see it. You can show me your favorite games. All I have is this, so I don't get to play all those PC exclusive games with those fancy graphics. Yeah, I can show you my recent favorites. Hey, I'm looking forward to coming over now. So, did you find anything new about that power plant? I sure did, but I don't know how to respond to that. There's no way I'm going to tell her everything I know. Well, it's hard enough with Thirsty. I can tell her a few things about lying. Yeah, a little bit. I saw pictures of the inside of the power plant. Wow, really? Yeah. What did it look like? Inside is creepy looking. Red lights are the only lights on, and everything is old, dirty, and rusty. It looks like a horror movie. No, oh, I'd love to see it. I mean, I would never, ever, ever go inside, but I'd love to see the pictures. Where did you see the pictures? On a forum with the power plant. I forgot the name of the site. It might be the same one you told me about the library. I have to look for them later. All the pictures I took were saved in three locations just to be safe. And I anonymously posted a couple of them on the forum to see if I can get more people talking about it. More conversation equals more information. Riley stopped by yesterday. Oh, really? Yeah, she's been over here a few times this week. And oh boy, every time she comes over, she gets a little stranger. <laughs> Somewhere there's a patient missing from a mental hospital. That's mean. I'm joking. Hee <laughs> hee. She may be fit for a straitjacket, but I like her. She's always really nice. That's good to hear. Except for a couple of awkward subjects she likes to bring up. Like what? Um, it's a, uh, it's nothing. Oh, I love you and you're a sweet, lovely girl, but I'm going to give it to you straight. You need to get laid. You're too damn tense all the time. What? I, I, at least tell me you flick the bean regularly. <laughs> flick the bean. <laughs> That's different. <laughs> nothing important. Just Riley being Riley. I know how that goes. The things that come out of that woman's mouth. Wow. Yeah. Lisa. Scarlet yells for Lisa from the other side of the house. Stay here. I'll be right back. That reminds me. I need to respond to Riley. She's called me several times. Left a voicemail saying she had important information for me. I also need to use those. Oh, also need to find those USB drives. I can do it when I get home. Forward and trying to pass the time, you start looking at Alyssa's anime collection. Hmm. I noticed that all the hentai is gone now. It's not like she needs the discs. She can watch them on certain websites, but it's funny she put them away this time. <laughs> I think that Alyssa watches it. I wonder what kind she likes to watch. I can't remember what the case looked like anymore. I think it was just a regular vanilla one. Something about school, I think. I wish I could ask her, but that would be too much for her to answer. I don't want to embarrass her. Maybe one day we'll be close enough friends where we can talk about those things. I better sit back down before she thinks I'm snooping around. Oop, she's back. Sorry about that. I guess Alice got into a big fight with her boyfriend. My mom is furious. Sorry to hear that. She called my mom crying. It wasn't a physical fight, was it? No, just yelling and screaming. And they're still together? I don't know. I hope not. But Alice never listens to mom and me. I keep telling her she needs to ditch him, but she never does. She's leaving the house when I got here. She didn't say hi or smile or anything. I knew something was the matter. She was like that with me today. That's unfortunate. It sounds like a toxic relationship. She asked me questions last week about how I would feel if a girl did this or that to me and come to find out she was talking about the relationship with her boyfriend. What'd you tell her? I told her I would be upset if a girl treated me that way. She thanked me for answering and that was the end of it. Maybe she talked to her again. 
If she went out of her way to ask you, then she trusted your advice, or she just wanted a man's opinion. I tried to talk to her today before she left the house, and she told me to mind my own business. Well, maybe we could try again? She might listen to you now that she got into a big fight. Will you try for me? Yeah, I'll try again. But if she gets mad at me, I'm blaming you. That's okay, you can blame me. Thank you so much, Jack. You're the bestest friend a girl can ask for. Oof. Friend zoned. Feel the same. I'm glad we got paired up by Miss Gilmore. Best teacher ever. <laughs> Maybe you can knock some sense in her. She doesn't listen to me. I'm giving my best shot. I almost forgot to ask her about April. I haven't heard any of them mention her. Kind of nervous asking about her. Alyssa? Uh oh. I ask you a question. Oh my god, it's gonna be asking me something crazy. Any sentence that starts with, can I ask you a question? Is just something I don't want to answer. Can he ask about that kiss I gave him? What if he asks about another one? Oh, oh, ask for another one. What if he wants me to kiss somewhere else? What if he wants to kiss my body instead? How am I supposed to respond to something like that? These scenarios are so much easier in my head when I'm doing stuff. Oh no. Why do you have to think about that when he's next to me? I'm gonna start getting that way. I know I didn't wear any underwear today. <laughs> That's so hard to read because I really have to watch what I say. Um, so their face. She's blushing, blushing like crazy. This isn't like Alyssa to blush over a simple question anymore. What does she think I'm going to ask her? <laughs> oh God, he's staring at me. He knows I'm thinking something perverted. Why else would I blush this much? He worked so hard to bring me out of my shell. And here I am blushing over that. Great. Now he knows I do that. There's only one way to salvage this. I have to be a big girl and get ahead of this. Say what's on my mind, like Riley Tommy. Alyssa. I do <laughs> Alyssa, that's not what he was gonna ask you. <laughs> oh my God, why a girl? <laughs> Alyssa, you freaking. Oh man. <laughs> Did she just yell something about that? No, she wouldn't shout something like that. What am I thinking? <laughs> uh, what? Why did I just say that? I, I have no clue. You knew, right? Knew what? Um, nothing. You're gonna ask me something Sexual, right? Uh, no. Huh? You weren't? I wanted to ask you if you have any answer uncles. That's it? Yeah. Um. <laughs> Alyssa looks away and makes a high pitched mouse like sound. <laughs> While she's dealing with an internal battle inside her head, you wonder what she's thinking about. Okay. <laughs> Before we continue with uh, Alyssa embarrassing herself, that's where we're going to leave it off for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more of Alyssa's silliness. <laughs> Thanks for watching.